Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have the patch notes for 26.4.3. Let's have a look at them and see how we did with our predictions. They have comment, the meta is in a pretty healthy place right now and a lot of players seem to be enjoying the post mini set meta, so we're trying not to be too disruptive with this round of changes. We're making some smaller adjustments to tone down a few of the emerging meta outliers and give a little more power to some of the mini set cards that have gotten not gotten much attention. Yeah, they say that, but they've nerfed Paladin three times on some of their better cards. So I don't know if it's uh, if this statement of not too disruptive is uh, is entirely accurate. But let's take a look at the nerfs. Puree is going to six mana, kind of what we thought might happen. Uh, it's probably the simplest of changes. It's still going to be powerful. Um, just not as good. If you can curve out with all your mana and play Pure on 6, maybe you can play your 0 mana light rays immediately. Um, but yeah, that's a nice change. It probably will see, still see play if uh, Pure Paladin sees play. Uh, and I imagine it's still a decent card in the deck. Got Disco Mall going to a 3 2, the 3. Okay, so it's not like a bad weapon, it's just a lot slower. 3 mana 3 2 weapon with upside is pretty good. Um, but it's not nearly as ridiculous as it used to be. Like, very often you could go coin weapon on 1, double 1 drop on 2. Now you have to 1 drop on 1, coin this on 3 or something like that, and it's a lot, it's a lot slower to get going. Um, I imagine it's still decent. In the deck, but everything a bit too a bit slower, which is gonna help curb pure paladin's dominance a little bit. Beast and famine, two mana now. So I mentioned this in my other video. I don't think it was necessary. Change three cards for paladin. Change these two. These are the biggest power outliers in the deck. If you're changing the biggest and strongest cards in the deck, two of them, in fact. You can expect the deck to drop off in power level quite a bit. So I don't know if this was necessary as well. I and mean, it's quite a, a harsh nerf, doubling the mana cost. It's going to be not worth running this, probably, I imagine. We'll see. I mean, it's kind of like a rock biter weapon now. Which was worth running with Doomhammer, so... I suppose in some worlds you can still. There's full Kale for loss. Which is uh, two mana, give yourself plus two attack and some to your minion. Uh, and that one can feel a little bit awkward sometimes with the weapon. So running this and the other one, maybe things become a bit too expensive, particularly with these other changes as well. Uh, and remains to be seen if Pure Paddy can exist after this. Might have to change its build a bit. I mean, it needed, some, it needed some nerfs, but I feel like maybe it's been over-nerfed. Let's see what they say. Dev comment, Pure Paladin has been a strong deck for a while. After this latest patch, we saw a jump in the deck's power to the point where it's now a dominant power outlier at all levels of play. Curator is the best card in the best deck by every measure, so it's easy target for change. We expect it to still see play. Disco Moor has been a card we've had our eyes on for a while, and this felt like the appropriate time to act on it. Finally, we've seen a lot of power come from Horn of the Windlord, Feast of Famine combo. But we can see that the Horn of the Windlord isn't a problem in Shaman, so adjusting the other half of the combo to make it a little bit slower overall and less flexible on non-combo turns. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Remains to be seen. I think it's a bit too harsh. Triple nerfing Paladin. Lady Steno. 2-4 to 1-4. Okay, this is a change I thought might happen. I kind of hoped it would uh, stay a 2-4, but can't hit face anymore and only can hit minions. But they've done this change instead. Dev comment, there's been a growing negative sentiment about Spell Demon Hunt, especially at the top levels of play, and particularly with the class closing out games in the same way for a long time. There are a few choices for us on which cards to adjust, but Steno seems like the best target to have the biggest impact on play experience and play player sentiment. Yeah. Hmm.
Is this going to do enough? This nerf? One attack instead of two? Maybe. Like, you can still get it pretty large from uh, abusive sergeants and um, the zero amount of spell that plus one plus one's it and stuff like that. But maybe it's just a bit too weak. I'm hoping anyway. I mean, it's like a weird change because they kind of don't want this to be a thing anymore, and I think the player base doesn't want it to be a thing anymore. So, like, nerfing it in this way, if it's still a thing, it's still a problem. But, sure. Maybe it's just too weak. Hope of Kalphalas. Actually, another cha the change on this means it kind of... You can't play it in any Demon Hunter that isn't Spell anymore, this change, because it just makes it way too weak. If you changed it to lowest health minion, keep the stats the same, then something like um, Big Demon Hunter, for example, could still run it. Um, and they're not really abusing it too much than that, they're just using it for the tempo. But this change just basically means the only deck that could run it ever would be the Spell Demon Hunter. And if it's not big enough of nerf, that's we're still going to see it just in that deck, though. I'm hopeful that it is big enough of a nerf, though. Kind of a big deal. Alright, Hope of Cow for last. 6 mana 3 2 now, instead of 4 2. Big Hunt Eyes merges another power outlier after the set additions of Hollow Hand and Star Power. We think the deck is fun and cool and we want to see players continue to enjoy it, but we also don't want it to become too powerful after the other adjustments this patch. So this is a small preemptive adjustment to shave a little bit off of its power. Sure. Don't know if it was needed, but yeah, you could do that. This, this change is likely not going to be hugely impactful. Like, it's the most expensive legendary weapon. One of in the deck, which you generally don't run a tutor for. Uh, and you're shaving off one attack from it, but you still get the effect remaining. It's probably not going to be too impactful of a change. Um, yeah. I just, I don't know if it was necessary to change either, but sure. Uh, next we've got Posit getting changed to 4-4. Four, four. This is kind of what we thought would happen. It's the only really, really small nerf. Uh, sure, this is fine. Posit's a bit too strong on turn 4, I think. Kind of annoying to play against. Statistically, Posit is the highest winning rate neutral in the game and has been criminally underplayed. As we saw more and more decks trying the card, it became clear. Which is a little nudge. Yeah, sure. Will this still see play? Uh, I think in very tempo based decks it will see play. It was seeing some play in decks that were uh, more mid rangey or weren't necessarily aggro decks. Um, maybe those decks won't play this anymore, but I think for the aggressive decks they probably still want to run this. Crimson Clergy is now banned in wild. Uh, I think that's all the nerfs. I mean, this is. To stop a degenerate wild combo, but we're mostly about standard here, so I won't talk about this too much. We've got some buffs. Reese's now at 4 out of 4 5. Uh, 4 out of 3 5, sorry. Uh, yeah. Don't know if this is that good still. Like I mentioned in the other video, rogues don't actually want a dagger on 2 a lot of the time if they're playing a deck that would care about this card, stuff like Secret Rogue. Uh, or concoction based rogues. The turn two is actually booked up most of the time, so they're not gonna have the dagger up for this uh, and be too happy about it. And even if they do, is it even that good? It's like first one's four mana deal three. If you can value trade, and you have to have a dagger up and and swing it, and then you get a one mana version of this back into your hand. And then next turn, you could deal three to something you can value trade again. Uh, 
I mean, maybe you could compare it to... Uh, what is the Hunter card called? Hold on, let me find it. Card library. There used to be a Hunter card that got nerfed, which was repetitive damage to a minion, but that was including the quest. Uh, I think it's, it's three mana right now. I'm not going to find it. You guys probably know what card I'm talking about. It's It was like, deal two to a minion uh, and add it back to your hand. Kind of similar effect. I mean, you don't have the quest reward to keep spamming the shoots and things. You don't have the quest that you need to progress, but this is like one mana. At a push, you could say two, really, because you've got a dagger up at, at some point. And if it even out, it's kind of like two mana. It's a bit similar to that card. Um, in terms of board control. Again, it doesn't work on things with more than five attack, which is a big deal. They're kind of the minions you really want to be removing. Like, stuff that's got l not much attack, you can just say, I don't really need to remove it. But something with a lot of attack, you, you want to remove it, and this is not a great way of doing so. So, I, I kind of doubt this is going to be good. I'm, I'm mostly talking about Rogue here. I don't think Demon Hunter really wants to run it either. Uh, next, Fiddle Fire Imps, now 3-3. Three, three. They did not make it a 3-4. Uh, I just don't think it's going to see play. Plus one health on it. The pool of the cards is still pretty bad. Mage has a lot of value minions they can run it. Regardless, I feel like they don't need to put this in the deck. For Warlock, the Demon tag is anti-synergy with their most popular decks because they want to summon the big demons from the hand. So, I just don't see it seeing play. Uh, this is also a 3-3. Again, I mean, you could make it... This one effect is stronger than the Fiddlefire Imp, I think, on average. But... Is it going to see play as a 3-mana 3-3? Kind of doubt it. There was a... There was a 3-mana 4-3 that copied the co highest cost spell on your hand. That didn't see play. They buffed that to 2-mana at 3-2. Same effect, still not seeing that much play. Is a card like this gonna suddenly be good? I really doubt it. The stat line's worse than both the, those, uh, both the previous cards I just mentioned. Maybe it needs to be a 3 4, really, I think. And then, then we can start talking. But for now, kind of bad. Like, you add two secrets to your hand, it's really hard to play on. Add two max to your hands, similar sort of deal probably. So, yeah, I, I just don't see either of these cards making the cut as 3 mana 3 3. So, in my mind, if that's the case, it's kind of like a whatever buff, waste of a buff, really. You're not really opening up avenues. Uh, and that's all the changes. A little bit pessimistic on some of these. Let me know if you guys uh, feel a bit different to me. Uh, what are your hopes for this patch? As with any patch, guys, there's going to be a big reaction in that any deck that's been nerfed will see a lot less play on ladder. Just because people like kind of overreact and think, oh, it's been nerfed, it's unplayable. Uh, and that's not always the case, but at least for a while, you're not going to see much Paladin, even if it's okay. You're not going to see much Spell Demon Hunter. You might still see Hunter because this is quite an unimpactful nerf, I think. Um, but expect to see a rise in mages and a rise in control priests, I imagine. Uh, and maybe things like Druid. So try and tech accordingly for those on ladder. Uh, and let me know your thoughts on the patch. See you guys.